Kelly Ritchie here. Bad habits that self-taught guitar players can have. Point number three, bad fingering. A lot of times students will take shortcuts. It makes sense. You know, I'm going to show you a couple of examples. But in the long run, you're confusing your motor skills because there's not this common thread, this consistency throughout with your finger. Here's an example using the song Hey Joe, which I teach to almost all of my students because it's a really good song to learn. It has a lot to offer. I'm going to play it with bar chords here. From the C to the G, D to the A. That's how I would play it. Notice how I pulled off. More often than not, I see a student coming from this A chord and pulling off with their first finger because it's closest. Then coming up and making this chord and there's no real connection between point A and point B. So watch what happens if you play it like this. One from here. And when I pull off, I'm falling off right down to my fifth string where I slide up and I'm ready to make the chord. If this is hard, just loop that around. Here's another thing. More often than not, I'll see a student do this. Like, well, but it, it gets me where I'm going quicker. Yes, but if you're playing in this area, playing lead, You're always going to be using your first and third fingers for this one special occasion to do this then when it comes time to play your fingers are going to go well which way are we going to do it this time so you never want to confuse your fingers you're programming your motor skills just like you would be programming a computer it's the little things that can really have a big impact okay so consistent fingering across the board all right okay see you on the next step